Hi everybody, I am going to ask you to grab a few things for this morning's workout if you can. So one is, a, these are all optional as well by the way, but these are all going to add different elements to your workout. We're focusing on the lower body today. I would like you to grab a book, okay, we're going to be using this for some of the workouts. Also a cushion if you've got one and then some weights and your weights could be either some light dumbbells or some tins of beans or bottles of water anything that you could use as weights but also all of these movements can be done without any equipment okay so if you want to just follow this along without anything that's absolutely fine okay so we are going to start by getting just move this camera a little bit warmed up so we're going to start with um, some lateral reaches so we're just going to tap out with one foot and then reach across the body with the opposite arm that's it so we're stretching across the body just taking one foot out at a time stretching over really nice this workout's going to be around about 25 minutes with the warm-up and cool down included Okay, so let us move on to the next movement. I want you to take your hands on your thighs. I want you to dip that lower back. So we're going to dip the lower back, stick the bum into the air, lift your head, lift your chest, and then round the back. Tucking the chin in towards your chest. Tilting that pelvis, really rounding your back. Pulling the tummy button in towards the spine. And then just dip the back again, stick the bum into the air and then round the back again, let the arms hang, and then uncurl all the way up, rolling those shoulders back. We're gonna go in for a few little shoulder circles because although we are working the lower back, the lower body, sorry, the arms, the shoulders will still work because they have to hold the weight. So we just still wanna warm up through the upper body slightly, change direction with the shoulders. Really nice. Just a couple more here. And then from here, we're gonna go into some side lunges. So a nice big step to the side, feet together, and then out to the other side. As you step into the side, I want you to keep this leg that you're pivoting out from nice and straight. The leg that you're leaning out on, that can bend, okay? Lovely. Good, good, good. One more on each side here, everyone really nice and now we're going to reach down towards the toes it doesn't matter if you can reach the toes you're just heading in that direction and we're going to take the legs a little bit wider than the hips so i'm in this sort of position and then we're pushing the bum back and we're going to pulse down for three so it's three two one and up and again three two one and it's just as low as you can get three two one, I want you to really push that bum back so you can feel a stretch in those hamstrings. And again, let's do one more here, everyone. Three, two, one. Well done, lovely. Okay, first movement. If you were using your book, I want you to grab the book and I want you to place it underneath your heels. So from the side, I have just got my heels on the book. The toes are on the floor. Okay, we're going to have the heels on the book, we're going to have the cushion between the knees and we're going to squeeze this cushion really tightly so the inner thighs work the whole time. We're going to have the weights in the hands, so you've got options here. You could just do normal squats, we're going to try and elevate it a little bit if we can. So heels are on your book, you're squeezing that cushion, okay. We're going to grab the weights in our hands, so I want you to lift those weights. We're going to go into this movement for one minute. So I want you to carefully pick those weights up, and then from here we're going down into your squats. So if you've been doing our workouts for a while, then you'll know how to do your squat. But I'm just going to turn to the side for those who may have just started working out. So you're going to push the bum back. I've got my heels lifted. Now what this does is it moves the weight into the quads a little bit more. So it means the fronts of the thighs get a little bit of a, a, a deeper workout. You can go further down in the squat when those heels are lifted. 
So it just allows us to go further down into the squat without putting it, it actually takes away pressure from the knees as well, okay? So you might find if you've got any knee issues that you're much more comfortable with those heels lifted. That's it. So remember, you could have feet flat on the floor, no cushion, no weight, just going up and down. Let's do two more. Lovely. And then you can drop that cushion, you can drop the weight, and you can move the book out of the way. Well done. Well, we'll be using those again later. We're going into static squats. So we're going to, sorry, static lunges. We're going to take one foot forward, one foot back. You can put your weights down for this one. This movement is 30 seconds. And your time for this movement starts now. Let's go. So we're dropping that back knee down towards the, the floor. So we're staying on this leg for 30 seconds and then we're switching all of your movements today for a minute. So with this one, we'll do 30 seconds per leg. And then you just got your movement could be here or your movement might be with that knee all the way down to the floor. It's your workout. Don't worry about how anybody else is doing with this. You just do what feels good for you. Okay, we're gonna switch leg now. So take the other leg forward, opposite leg back, and down and up. And you, you'll notice when you're doing single-sided movements, you might have one side that's a bit tighter, or one side that's a bit stronger. I know with this side, I definitely can't go as low. That's it, abs are nice and tight as you're doing this. Take your time, you've got five seconds. Let's get one more in. Lovely, well done. You are gonna come down onto the floor for your next movement. So we're going into a bridge, we're going to use the book again. So we're going to put the book on the floor and we're going to have our heels on the book again, okay? So on the floor, heels on the book, toes on the floor. One minute here, your time starts now. We're going to lift that bum up and then roll back down. So pushing up through the heels. That's it. So you're pressing those heels hard into that book. Squeezing your bum as you rise up. Really nice. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. Really nice. That's it. We're going to do all of these movements twice. So we've got, I'm actually, I think I've got about 10 movements. And then we're going to repeat them all. Okay. So it might do make them a little bit more challenging in the second round. I'll give you some of our options. You've got 18 seconds here. Squeeze that bum every time you rise up. Squeeze that bum. Keep this going. Last few seconds, then we're back on our feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, okay. Hold it there, let me see what's next. Yep, we're coming up onto our feet again. So we are gonna use the weights, either one weight or two. So I think I'm gonna use one weight. We're gonna have the weight up here. We're gonna go nice and wide into a squat. So we're gonna turn the toes out, turn the knees out. We're gonna do one squat, and then we're gonna drop that weight and go into a forward fold. So if I turn to the side, I drop the bum nice and low for the squat, but then the forward fold, I'm keeping the legs nice and straight and the back nice and flat. Okay, are we ready for this? Your time starts. Whoop. Come on. Starts now. Let's go, sorry. So we've got one squat, lower the weight, one forward fold. As you do that wide squat, really push the knees out towards the sides if you can. This is gonna get those inner thighs working nicely. Take that weight down. Just go at your own pace, go at your own depth, with or without weights. You could not be holding a weight if you didn't want to be. One squat, one forward fold. And again, one squat, one forward fold. Keep this going. Nice deep squat. Go at your own pace. I'd much rather you're focused on good technique 
then try to get loads of repetitions in with core techniques so just focus on being strong you've got your body in the right position we don't want to hurt ourselves injure ourselves in any way that's it that's your timer done finish your movement well done that's lovely okay we're going back to cushion between the knees so take that cushion between the knees and we're going into body weight squats so we are squeezing 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 let's go so these ones we're not holding any weight and i do want you to go a teeny bit faster that's it squeeze your bum squeeze your bum that's it really nice that's it so from the side feet flat on the floor squeeze that bum keep going keep going we're doing a full minute here 15 seconds to go that's it really nice and then when i tell you to you're just going to drop that cushion and we're going to go straight into the next move which is a side tap okay cushion down i want you to drop the knees a touch and then start tapping out with one foot so if i turn to the side i've got the knees down and then i'm extending that leg out to the side so this leg is taking a lot of weight that's it and as i take the leg out i'm very lightly tapping the toe to the floor three two one switch sides stay low so if you're up tall the leg doesn't work as hard i want you to lower yourself down so this thigh is taking a lot of the weight keep this going i'm just reading to see what we've got next we've got side lunges to a squat next good 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 keep going keep going last two one well done okay what i want you to do now is grab one weight we're going to go into i'm going to move to the side a little bit we're going to do a side lunge bring that weight up into a squat and we're going to do the same side every time are you ready we've got one minute and your time starts now let's go so side lunge weight up narrow squat side lunge weight up narrow squat so i'm keeping my left leg really straight as i step out to the right i'm bending the right knee so that right leg is taking all of the weight so hitting the inner thigh on my left side and the outer thigh and glute on the right side and of course you could just do this without a weight we're doing a full minute per side on this exercise good work everyone really nice lower body workout here keep going we've got eight seconds that's it and again that's my buzzer well done let's change side off we go so now we step out towards the opposite side take it down good 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 so now i'm keeping the right leg nice and straight as i step out to the left and i'll bend that left knee as i lunge to the side also if i move to the side here when i lunge i am leaning forward but I'm not hunching the back. I'm still thinking about posture all the time. That's it. So you're thinking about a nice straight spine, long back all the time. Keep going. Doing so well here. How long have we got? Five seconds. Should we get another one in? Finish strong with the squat. Ah, oh, lovely well done well done okay your next movement is a single leg deadlift okay we need one weight we're going to have the weight in our right hand so i'm going to keep my right leg on the floor and then i am going to 
keep the body in a nice straight line if possible. I'm going to let that weight come down and I'm going to lift the left leg. Okay, this is a tough one to balance. So if you needed to, you could have your fingertips on something to help you balance. Okay, so this is your movement. If you can, do it without holding on to anything, okay? One minute per side, your time starts now. Let's go. So weight is in the right hand, right leg on the floor, left leg lifts up and then back to the floor. It is a tough one. You'll see that I'm wobbling a little bit. That's normal, it's really good for us to do balance movements. That's it, we'll improve on our balance if we do these types of movements. And remember, you could have that left hand resting on something or against a wall as you come down, okay? So I'm gonna to turn towards you a little bit. Good, good, good. Pushing up. 14 seconds here. If you're struggling with balance, the best thing you can do is just find a focal point and keep your eyes fixed on whatever that is. Okay, one more and then we're gonna switch legs straight away. Well done, switch inside. So the weight is in your left hand. Let's go. Left leg, leg stays on the floor. Right leg lifts. I feel like this is my less stable side. I'm a bit more wobbly with this one. Just be aware as you go down, you're not hunching the back, okay? You're trying to keep everything in a nice straight line, okay? And it doesn't need to be as high as this. It could just be here, okay? So we all start somewhere. Could just be here, all right? And again, I can definitely get lower on the other side. You'll notice with your body that you might have one side that's a little bit more flexible. Ooh. Or better balanced with, you might be better balanced on one side. I definitely am. Ooh. One more, one more everyone. Good work. And you'll see, I do these all the time and I'm still wobbling. But you do get better. I definitely wobble way less than I did when I started doing them years ago. All right, we've got to do all of those again. So let's take um, a moment just to have a little drink and then we're going to start. So your first movement was heels on the book, cushion between the knees, weights in the hands, squats, okay? One minute of these, so set yourself up, get everything into place, heels on the book. Might add a few little adaptations this second round, okay? So I'm gonna try and go quickly in from one movement to the next now that we know them a little bit better and need a little bit less explanation. Six seconds here, grab those weights and let's go, all right. So we're squeezing that cushion because we want the inner thighs to work, okay? We've got the heels elevated because we want the quads, which run down the front of your thighs, to work really hard. We've got weights in the hands, possibly, and that's to make the body heavier. If your body's heavier, you, it has to work harder, it has to burn more calories. And this is something you'll do as you get lighter, as you lose weight, add some more weight to your body, whether it's ankle weights or wrist weights or holding on to some dumbbells. Because as you get lighter, your body doesn't have to work as hard throughout the workout. So we need to make it work harder by adding the weights. Does that make sense? <laughs> Keep going, last couple. Three, two, one, drop the cushion, place the weights down carefully. We're going straight into those static lunges. So one foot forward, one foot back, and we start now. Let's go. So one foot back. 
Again, you could hold on to something. I tend to put my arms out just to help us to balance. I'll turn to the side, just so you can see what I'm doing. Just going as low as feels right for you here, okay? <laughs> That's it. Last one, and then we quickly switch side. Where we go, straight into it. So your next movement is that bridge on the floor. So on the book, we're gonna add a cushion as well to this one. We didn't use the cushion the last time. So we're gonna have the heels on the book. We're gonna have the cushion between the knees, lying on our back, squeezing the cushion as we lift up and down. Seven seconds here, and then we're gonna get on the floor pretty quickly. One more. Lovely, well done. Okay, on the floor. Heels on your book, cushion between the knees. If you need longer, just pause this. Okay, I have got my heels on the book, squeezing the cushion. Let's go. So it's the same movement as before, but now we're really pressing our inner thighs towards each other. I want you to put as much pressure on that cushion as you can. Really squeeze it. So what's even better for these is if you've got, you know, like a really light, you know, we would have called them um, penny floater balls, you know, the, um, the really light sort of footballs that the kids might play with. One of those between your thighs is perfect. Squeeze, 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 that's it. Keep this going, 15 seconds. Press hard, press hard, press hard on that cushion. Heels are lifted, they're on the book. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your bum, five seconds. Let's get another one in and then we're coming up onto the feet again. Well done everybody, good work. Next it was those wide squats to wide deadlift. So grab a weight, okay, and we're gonna start this now. So, legs are wide. It was one squat, take the weight down, one forward fold, or a deadlift we would call it. So, squat. So before, we were doing single leg deadlifts at the, the last move of that first round, ooh, wobble, where we were keeping the back straight, leaning forward, but we were taking one leg off the floor, so there's lots of different types of squats, lots of different types of deadlifts, all different movements, working your body, challenging your body in different ways. Push that bum back. Good, good, good. Really nice. How long have we got? 13 seconds here. And then we're going back to body weight and um, cushion squeezes, squats. So we don't want any weights. We're going to do some quite fast squat. Well done. Finish this one. So this time, I want you to give, I'm going to give you an option here. So before, we had the cushion between the knees, no weights, just doing quite fast squats. If you want to, you can now change and lift the toes up. So by, before we had the heels lifted in other exercises, if you want to, you can lift the toes and you'll feel it in the backs of your legs a little bit more. Let's go. So you'll find, so I'm gonna turn to the side. You keep going, you keep going because your time is on. If your toe, if the front of your feet are elevated, you won't be able to go as low, but you're gonna feel this in the shins, but so you'll feel it here, but also here in the hamstrings. So again, it's just showing you different ways to work your body. So it's just, they're all just squats, but sometimes we lift the toes, sometimes we lift the heels. We're adding the cushion to make the inner thighs work really hard. Lots of different ways. That's it, squeeze. Are you pressing that cushion? Hope you are, really push those inner thighs in. We've just got 12 seconds left here. Should we go a little bit faster? Just get a few more in here. That's it. Can you feel your calves? Can you feel your hamstrings? Because we've got those toes lifted. That's it. 
last one well done we're going in for side taps and we are going to start those side taps now so drop those knees and then we take the leg out to the side good 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 out to the side we're going to do 30 seconds per leg here and then we've got your lunges your side lunges with squats Keep going, nine seconds on this side. Make sure this leg is bent. Remember, we don't want to be nice and tall. I want you to sink into this. Switch leg now. That's it, so from the side, I am in this position. And I'm not letting these hips move up and down. I'm keeping them down the whole time. That's nice and tight. Always thinking about tummy pulled in tight. Because that's going to protect your lower back. 10 seconds here, then I want you to grab one weight if you're using weights. Two, one, really good. Grab one weight, we're going in for a side lunge with a squat. Your time for this starts now. So we side lunge, bring the weight up and squat. Side lunge, weight up and squat. Good, good, good. So we're hitting 26 minutes here. So we're gonna go possibly around 32 minutes for this workout once we've stretched out as well. We're almost at the end though. Doing really well. Side lunge into that squat. Side lunge into that squat. Keep going. So we've got 12 seconds here. And then we're just going to switch straight over to that other side. Okay, that's my watch buzzing. So I'm just going to take a step over. That's it. Let's go. You start. Squat. Side lunge. Squat. Stay safe. Just go at whatever pace feels right for you. Again, remember, when you're tipping forward, you're trying to keep your back as straight as possible. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We have got those single leg deadlifts next. That is to finish your workout, but it's a full minute per side. Slow, balanced movements. So we've got those coming up. Doing good here, everyone. How long have we got? Oh, four seconds. Get one in. That's it, well done. Okay, right hand with your weight, right leg on the floor. Take a breath and then let's lift that left leg up. Start sliding that weight down and then come back in. Same leg again. Remember, it's just as high as you feel comfortable with. I want you to keep that weight pretty close to your leg. Okay, the further forward that weight goes, the more pressure on your lower back. So I want you to keep that weight close to the leg. Keep going and just take your time with this. I'd rather you got way less of these in and really focused on good technique, good posture. This is your last one on this side. And then we switch straight away. So straight into that other side. So left hand with the weight, left foot on the floor. And remember, you could be here. Okay, as long as you're staying, Nice and straight, nice flat back. I don't want you coming too far forward if you're really round in the back. Focus on good technique. Oh, I had to grab that because I was wobbling. So again, it's always good to have something by your side while you're getting the balance as well. You know, while you're getting the technique right, have your fingertips on something if you need to. It's not taking away the workout, it's just helping you to balance a little bit. 
almost there. This workout is almost done. You've got five seconds. We're going to get one more in. Oh, well done, everybody. Okay, hold it there. We are going to have a little stretch out. So I want you to go back to the start where we had the hands on the thighs, dip your lower back, round your back. Do a few of those. So dip the back, lift the head, lift the chest, then round the back. So if your lower back is working hard when we're holding those weights in all those squats and those deadlifts, one more time. Round the back, come all the way up, roll those shoulders back. We're going to take one foot forward. This front leg is nice and straight. I'm going to turn to the side. So that's nice and straight. We're going to bend the other leg and push the bum back. So I've got my left leg completely straight. This leg closest to you is bent and I'm resting on the thigh. And again, I'm still focusing on trying to keep a good posture. I'm not hunching. I'm not just relaxing completely just because we're stretching. Take the opposite leg forward. This front leg's nice and straight. Push the bottom back. So I've got on my watch, I started my watch there, 227 calories. That is really good for a little 30 minute workout. Lovely everyone. Take the legs nice and wide, but with the toes facing forward, not out, okay? So toes facing forward. I want you to just reach as far forward as you can with the chest. Feel a nice stretch in the backs of your thighs. Then all the way up, bring those feet in. A big stretch over to one side. A big stretch over to the other. Again, round those shoulders back because you've been holding the weights. So the neck and the shoulders, really feel that. And you are done. Fantastic workout, everybody. Well done. Great lower body. Well done.